section. Then we have happy birthday. This is one of our demos today. And again, very much the same concept. So you get the lovely wreath element on there. You get the words. The happy birthday has a beautiful outline die as well, which is incredible. So it elongates the design. But this is more like berries and buds. Really, really beautiful. And as you can see, the large open spaces are going to be there for you to fill in with your sparkle pens, your alcohol markers, your watercolours and things like that. And then we have you are so enough and everybody is so enough. It's a basically a magnolia wreath is this one. And you can see you get all the lovely elements and all the individual elements. And this one, you can see you get the die that falls out in the center, the outer parts, and you also get the dies that go around the individual elements too. Well, there you go. If you do fancy this, um, big collection there, discounted when we put a bundle together for you, matches the launch original price. By the way, um, if you like this one here, you are so enough, that one sold out as an individual. But don't forget, you can still get them all if you order the collection. It's essentially like getting one of them for nothing. So it's like getting that one for free, actually, when you get the collection. 582307. So we've seen what we're getting. Let's see what we can make with these tools. Uh, Tony, got some gorgeous examples there. Yeah, so this is where you're going to see how the design team have chopped and changed them up and just used them in such a simple form or maybe a really, really intricate, heavy design. So you have the circle there that is just literally stamped and coloured with your watercolours. Then we get the lovely um, like build element of it too. So I'm just going to quickly go through these handful of lovely samples here so you can see all of the designs. So heat emboss don't forget about our lovely heat embossing and things like this one so there we go you can see you can build your cards what about doing some inky bank backgrounds heat emboss what about using them with your lovely stencils they are beautiful designs that allow you to use them as full and complete wreaths should you wish or you can break them down and you can create individual elements look at this one on this wooden tag half the design and then this beautiful one where there is just a bit of color peeking through the hole in the center of the wreath well uh, beautiful designs there tony spoil for inspiration do you know 10 percent has already gone if you missed it previously please don't worry you're actually getting the same price as when we launched these uh, so if you do fancy it go for it 79 pounds 19 purple pass price also available for you today on open pay uh, five payments of 16 pounds 44 and make sure you quote open pay just pull your check out because that wipes off your pmp but just just for today so there we are it's three sets there uh, right let's go through the other items for you because it's not just that that collection on the show we've got some decorative frames which we think you're gonna absolutely love so there we are we've got the wreaths that's what they're all about but you can shop ahead as always on cranecraft.com but speaking of frames let's have a cheeky look here uh, right this is going to be absolutely gorgeous so you can see there you've got your magnolia you've got your um, orchid aperture and you've got your petunia aperture there too so these are all the dies now yes we're thinking Paper piecing, absolutely with these. We're thinking, how about silhouettes? You know, use black card just to lay over the top of a vibrant background. It's gonna be absolutely stunning. So it's three A5 dies. It's also another purple pass price. We love these. You all get the best price. So there we go, 44 pounds 44. It's also available on open pay. So it's four payments on open pay. You just pay one today. Yeah, 13 pounds and 12 pence. That's what I like to hear. Okay, here we go already approaching 10% of the stock gone. If you fancy it, uh, absolutely go for it. But yes, we've got so much on the show. Uh, let's see, Tony, about more inspiration for those dimes we've just seen. Tony, lovely ideas here. Yeah, when we launched these, we had so much fun doing them simply because of the versatility of them. You can do so much with them. And I know a lot of you have bought them. So if you have bought them, you can sit back and enjoy them and maybe pick up some inspiration today. Or maybe if you were thinking about buying them, maybe you could buy one and then you have the fabulous QR code on the back of the packaging, which takes you to all the tuition where we've been at Create and Craft and you have sort of that follow up program where you're going to be able to get all that inspiration. So let's just quickly go through these lovely boards. So I have the Petunia Aperture here. So you can see here, if you leave it in the board, 
sorry, in the cardstock, you get this sort of decorative element. So it doesn't matter if you cut this die in the middle of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, this design is going to stay in the center. But if you use the outline design, it takes it out of the page. So you can see if you have the patience and time to paper piece, you can do that. You can watercolor, you can do sunsets behind. So that's the petunia. Next, we have our lovely detailed magnolia. So here, so here we have it as out of the page with the beautiful outline, so you can do it on a card. And then here is within the card with a beautiful watercolour wash behind, and I hope you've been able to see that there. There we go. So you can see the design there. So you can paper piece it in if you want to. So again, we absolutely love paper piecing here at Stamps By Me. One, it's very therapeutic, and two, it takes your designs to that next level, so rather than a traditional die cut. And then we have Orchid Aperture, or orchid as some may say so we have the lovely outline here so you take it out and if you leave it within the page should i show you some lovely samples absolutely please do they look gorgeous okay so first of all let's just show you if you leave it in the page with nothing else so some pretty paper behind i think this pretty paper is actually in the show so i will go through those in a second so then we have what about heat embossing and using it with your stenciled backgrounds or maybe white on white with the stencil background so you can see the detail in there. You can make smaller cards should you wish. Paper piece. Black always looks incredible, doesn't it? What about if we paper piece the gold elements back in? So you've got like a watercolor wash behind. And then we have just white with the lovely birds coming up in the next, in the next part. Watercolor wash behind. And then look at these ones. If you are a bright and cheerful person and love your intricate colours, and then what about mirror board? If you've got lots of mirror board in your mm. stash, you can create some beautiful cards. Well, very glamorous, Tony. Again, if you'd like to go for those, uh, again, it's just £49.99. But we've got main different bundles there. You're loving those dies. Add them to your basket, but you'll see so much more on quaintcraft.com. We also have uh, the Blissful Birds. Now, these are very pretty. Again, maybe, maybe you missed them previously. They are back now. They are very pretty. Again, these are going to be, yes, the star of your card, but also your finishing touches. Think of all the bits you can snip into and cut out and rearrange yourself. So it's the two sets there, 582309. Again, it's available on open pay. Clearly, you've been buying these before we came live because 10% has already gone. The nesting birds and the dainty birds there too. So there you go. If you do like this one, John, let's go back to Tony. Going to work out this show, I can tell you. But seriously, um, we've got balls to show you this in action. Let's go back to Tony because uh, we've got lots of inspiration for you. So Tony, these birds, they're gorgeous. So they're going to be the focal point and framing possibilities within this. Yeah, so they are a traditional bird, so you can create a blue tit, a robin, a thrush, a little sparrow if you want to. You know, Christmas is coming up, so if you can only, and you haven't bought any Christmas cards and you're thinking, do you know what, I can only afford one stamp or one die this year. Um, and if you do like birds, it's probably a great starting point. You know, you're going to get so much versatility out of it. So in this A5 set, you get these two lovely designs here. So you get the lovely birds too perched on a branch, but you also get the beautiful little babies here sat on the nest and sat on the branch if you want to. And the dies to take these out of the page, as you can see. So if you, all you need to do maybe is pop a little bit of sparkle on there, color their breasts in red or the orangey red that we love. You can build them up and just create some beautiful cards, but they work seamlessly together. And that's why I did put them together because you have the beautiful wreath, which has an outline die. So you can pop it on sparkly card if you want to autumnal spring sort of designs and then these are all the elements that come within the stamp set too so they work beautifully together the birds on the branch can sit within the wreath if you want them to and if you do love to color then you have the birds with the large open breast on there so you can really get in and be creative if you want to or maybe a blue tip where the blues and yellows lots and lots to go at or if you don't like to color Let's not use any colour and stamp them out in black. They're going to look incredible regardless. So use your colour in the background if you're not the most confident. But this is just showing you in a frame or maybe just on a like a landscape design. The little babies on the branches, though, look at this design here. Just the little children sat there on that branch. 
And here, look, the little child is looking down at the parents or looking up at the parents. You can really be creative with these. These were really, really popular when we launched them a few weeks ago. And really, when you really have what's left and once it's gone, it's absolutely gone. We do move on as Stamps By Me, as you know, we're on TV all of the time now. So you're never getting rid of me. <laughs> well, we would never want to turn so you seriously. Keep going, keep going. It just, it just never ends. And you always know that when you have lots and lots of samples from your design team, it just suggests and tells you that your design team have had so much fun creating with these lovely designs. Well, beautiful designs there, Tony. Lovely designs. And there's a lovely sense of bonding, family spirited with those. They're gorgeous, Tony. Thanks very much indeed. Well, do you know what though? Uh, let's go back to you. You're just going to see there's lots of deals with all these dies here. But if you do like those birds, they're right here. Details side of your screen, 582309. However, we've got some dies, but what about backgrounds? Well, we've also got these papers on the show. These are very, very pretty. We haven't got a lot of stock of these, by the way. Just a quick heads up for you. Yeah, my word, already 20 percent of the stock's gone but you've got that uh, that rustic kind of shabby chic vintage wood effect there but you've got bursts of color they look gorgeous if you've got those uh, aperture dies imagine those over the top of these so 200 gsm rustic romance story of my life <laughs> anyway look at uh, 582 316 again 200 gsm so it's a really good weight to work with now the price here they are 12 by 12s 11 pounds 69 don't forget you can add this to one of your open pay baskets because that enables you to spread the cost of your entire order entire basket interest free yeah you can get up to seven open payments the more you add in the more payments you'll qualify for uh, by the way um if you put open pay so if you type in open pay just in the promotional uh, code area before you check out it will just wipe out your postage and your packaging now at the moment we've got some items available as individuals so do check these out uh, but again, everything from the birds, those aperture dies are brilliant. So it's such an important show this because if you miss these first time round, you can get them now. You can purchase these and you can make and sell. Very generous angel policy with stamps by me. So we've got so many items here, so many tools. First time I've actually seen these. You may have seen them previously on this channel. But you know let's go back to Tony, who's got so many demonstrations lined up for us. So Tony, what's the first stage of your project? We're excited. So I just caught a quick glance of the website there and the stencils are still there. So the stencils have sold out everywhere. So if you are wanting stencils, grab them quick because when they're gone, they're gone. I've been told there's not a lot. So I'm going to use in this first um, demo, I'm going to use the Orchid Aperture and I'm going to use the Follow Your Dreams. OK, so I'm going to use them both together to show you that when we do create our products here at Stamps By Me, they do work beautifully together. So it's this lovely stamp set here and this lovely die set here. So when I um, turn them over, I'm going to show you. Sorry. Can you see the lovely QR codes on the back? So our packaging always has the lovely QR codes on there, which you can scan and get the inspiration. So let's get our lovely die cutting plates. And have some fun. So first of all, I'm going to cut the aperture orchid. So you can see here it comes in two parts. We have the outline and we have the part that stays in the card if you want to leave it in the card. So this is the part here that stays in the card and this is going to take it out if you want to. So first of all, let's pop this grey cardstock on here. Now if you are popping one die within the other, do tape them down. If one die runs over the other in the machine, you'll ruin your dies. So do, please don't do it. And I know I say um, do it. I don't always do it myself when we're speed crafting, but if you can do it at home, you, um, you just take that risk out of it, don't you? So let's just run this through for you and just show you how lovely it looks when it actually cuts out. So I've popped the outline die around so it's going to come out of the card but if I hadn't have popped the outline around it would have just punched that detail into the piece of cardstock and stayed put. So the versatility is really really cool. So again, you have got three Let's sets in here. Don't forget, purple, past price, £79.19. Do we've just calculated now. Do you know what? 15% of the stock has now gone. 
very busy in the USA. So guys, thanks very much across the Atlantic. Great to have your company wherever you're watching us from. Tony, they cut beautifully, don't they? They always do cut beautifully. They're a high-end dye. I mean, most dyes are made the same way and they all have a fabulous coating on because back in the day, it used to frustrate us, didn't it? Having to pop out all of those pieces. But most dyes, I would probably say 90% of dyes are incredible now. So when you pop out all of those lovely pieces, you end up with this beautiful design here. Can we see that there? Mm -hmm. So you can paper piece, put some sparkle. You've seen them with the sunsets behind and things like that. So let's just move this to one side and cut the outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fabulous papers that are in the show. So the papers have a lovely wood grain, wood grain effect on there. But I do want to just show you a couple of lovely things just to quickly show you here. Can we see how incredible they are? So it actually looks like you have watered colored them onto this lovely wood grain sort of effect. So I'll just do a quick flick for you. So you get lots of watercolors. The wood grain is traditional and runs through. The only thing that changes is the watercolor flowers on there. Absolutely beautiful, incredible value. And you get several pages of each design. So you're not gonna worry about running out. And we've used these, I've used these in every show since. I absolutely love them. As you know, I love watercolouring. So I've got a piece of that lovely patterned paper and I've just taken the lovely design just across this corner part here. And the aperture die, I'm just gonna take the outline because I want it to cut. And I'm gonna pick the design part element that I want for the back of my gray cardstock. And we'll just run this one through. And the great thing about having outlines on your dies is if you do want to change the background for watercolours or cardstock, it fits seamlessly behind you because you've used the outline die, it's going to, the decorative element is going to stick direct on top and you're not going to have to worry about overflow or anything like that. It's going to fit seamlessly. And I'll show you exactly what I mean now. So you get your die cut element like so. And because we've used the outline die, when we come to put this on top, it fits seamlessly. Can we see that there? So when I glue that on there, I'm not going to have an ugly edge where I've had to fussy cut it with my scissors or anything like that. It's going to fit beautifully. So let's just move this one out of the way. So what I did ahead of time before coming to air is I also cut an outline of just um, the grey cardstock without the pattern. So what I was going to do was basically decide on air which looks best. So do we want a little bit of watercolour design behind our pattern or do we just want the wood grain? Are we going for a masculine card? Not sure. Let's have a look. Right, we'll go colour then. <laughs> So here I have a, just a grey top folding note card that I've trimmed down to a smaller size. And all I'm going to do, first of all, is put our patterned paper down flat. So with these patterned papers, they're uncoated, so you can stamp onto them. You can die cut. You can watercolour on them. As long as you don't heavily saturate them, they're going to take a lot of ink. So they're really, really lovely. So pop some glue behind our lovely frame. Use a glue that is going to dry clear. And then it doesn't matter if we, don't, if we get it all over, you know, it's going to dry clear and we're not going to hide our little mistakes or boo-boos, whatever you'd like to call them. Sometimes we don't have butterflies big enough, do we, to hide them? So I'm just pop this directly on top. And we've given ourselves this beautiful aperture can we see that design there? and that lovely pattern papers poking through now if you haven't got our pattern papers and you're thinking do you know what i've got enough pattern papers in my stash to last me a lifetime you know use what you've got they'll all work with these aperture dies because the, they've got beautiful spacing in which is going to allow the color to come through so now i have a piece of white cardstock and we're going to use the lovely follow your dreams and I'm going to use just an element of this wreath to show you that you don't have to use the whole design. I'm just going to use this part here. So I'm just going to grab my Eureka. And I have a piece of white cardstock here and I'm just going to pop it into the Eureka here. 
So the Eureka's not in stock at the moment, but it will be soon. So let's just grab the stamp design. And because we're going with a grey themed card, stamp in grey too. Keep it all in theme if we can. And I'm just going to, hopefully, choose the part of this design which I really like. So let's go with that large floral at the top. I'm just going to capture as much design on this piece of white cardstock as I can. So you will see from all of the samples that I've stood up here and showed you live on air that yes, they are beautiful as wreaths, but I really want to encourage you to maybe just use parts of the design too. Don't think, well, I've made several cards using the wreath, now I'm bored. You know, we pay a lot of money for our craft stuff. So we just need to think out of the box a little bit and get them used in different ways. So I here I'm stamping out in a grey ink pad. So it's going to be in keeping with our card. It doesn't really matter which grey you go for, I suppose. So I'm just going to add it again, just to get it a bit darker. There we go. So you can see that lovely, lovely design on there. So let's just get rid of this for now. Right, I'm just going to glue this onto this grey mat and layer here. So it's like, well, which bit is the focal part on my card? Is it this part? Is it the aperture? I'm not quite sure, but it really doesn't matter. You can really go to town and play. That's what it's about. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this orchid back, pop this design just in this corner here. And I'm not going to add anything else. You could stamp a sentiment in there and then push that design further back. But it's just to show you that just use Beautiful. elements of your stamp sets. Don't use them as entities, as full entities all the time. You can get away with doing so much more. Tony, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving those colours. And I know you've got lots more to show us. So uh, I'll give you a moment, Tony, to uh, get reset. It's absolutely Thank gorgeous you. what you've done. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching. We've got a few more minutes left on this show. OK, so if you like the coordinating dies with, with the stamps, of course, it's the reefs. Uh, we'll go through that in a second. But firstly, you know, those decorative frames, they are very, very popular. Seriously, let's recap what these are for you. So it's the three A5 dies, five eight two three zero eight. So again, think silhouettes, think paper piecing. They work so well in that last demonstration, don't they? So again, um, well, open pay, spread that cost interest free, free post and packaging today. Yeah, four open pay payments today. Um, the first one is 13 pounds and 12 pence. So there we are. Now we did mention those reefs again. Very, very popular. It's what we started at the top of this show with. You may have seen this previously on Crate and Craft. We've got it back for the second time, but it's we've matched the original price. So you're still getting that great original saving. So 582307. And of course, don't forget you can spread this cost today on five payments using open pay. So easy to use, you fill out a small form, uh, you pay one payment today. 20% of the stock's now gone. But of course, the blissful birds, also very popular. They're gonna look great with those wreaths, aren't they? They're gonna be great for all different times of the year. I'm thinking Easter. I do think for Christmas as well, the little robins cheeky. But again, um, £54.89 purple pass price. With purple pass, you will all get that discount. Club members and non-club members. Well, four open payments of £14.47 is that today and that's it. No postage and packaging if you're buying something on open pay today. Okay, now this paper collection, the rustic romance, sums up my dating life. But there we go, uh, 12 by 12, it's a quarter of the stock here is gone. So 582316, again, 12 pounds 99 less in the club. But don't forget, if you do love saving money, become a club member. If you love spreading the cost interest free, well today, if you use open pay, no person packaging. But let's remind you how easy it is to spread that cost. At Create and Craft, shopping has got even better with open pay. In just 90 seconds, you can spread the cost of your online basket with up to seven affordable interest free installments. Simply choose the open pay option on selected products at our online checkout and spread the cost of your shop. There are no interest payments and no hidden fees, meaning you can pay for your purchase monthly with equal affordable instalments. Open pay. Buy now, pay smarter. 
so easy to use. You fill out a small form before you check out. We love open pay. We love stamps from me. We love Tony's demonstrations too. Well, let's get back to Tony. More inspiration for us. So we're going to look at some examples, I believe, Tony. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at some of the finished samples again for the wreath. Lovely. So I've shown you some already. I'm going to show you some more. But I just wanted to show you that, like, these sorts of samples here that we've got on our set and display, these are all the ones where when you scan that QR code, it takes you to the tuition on how to make these. So these are all ones that I've done in previous demos or in previous um, shows live on Create and Craft. Lovely, lovely shaker card there. And then what about maybe doing them with just a splash of colour around or maybe just stamped in elements onto the cardstock there. But then you can do half of the design onto a tag and things like that. What about maybe just using them as a background? Because that is the same stamp used as a total background stamp, just the individual elements on there. He embossed looks absolutely incredible when you drop a little bit of white in there. Can we see that there? If I tilt that back, there we go. And then you can see if you're just maybe a bit mixed media, -y, like to use your alcohol inks, your watercolours and things like that, you can always, always chop and change the design, put them on pa patterned papers, paper smooching, ink smooching, the list goes on. My hands are not fat enough to hold all of these samples, <laughs> so there you go. Doing great. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to do, for my next demo, I'm going to use the lovely Happy Birthday Wreath, which is the Buds one. Now, it's totally like, you look at it and you think, oh, what's going on? Is it Buds? Is it Berries? It could be anything you want it to be. So it's got the large open spaces on the ovals. And the reason I've done them is if you want to do masculine colours, olives, berries, Christmas berries, think doing them in bright reds with some glitter over the edge to make them look very Christmas-esque. And don't forget, because you've got those lovely outline dies, you can always use your other foliage element dies that you've got from Stamps By Me or other brands and build them up and make something Christmas. Get some of those pine cones out of your garden, build them on top of with some sparkle and some glitter, and you're really good to go. So first of all, let's show you how it looks when it's stamped. So I'm just going to grab my Eureka here. I'm just going to stamp it onto some white cardstock, just so you can get clear of what it actually looks like, and then I'll die cut it. So take the stamp from your carrier sheet. I'm just going to place it on here. And as you can see here, you've got that lovely die, which is going to take the centre part out and do that whole wreath. So no fussy cutting, no worrying about, you know, oh, it's going to take me ages. My hands are not the best. You know, you are literally good to go. So I'm just going to use a black ink pad. Now, because I'm going to be using some of the pattern papers too, you can stamp in black, grey. You could maybe pick um, a colour from the pattern paper. So this is a piece that I'm going to use on the card itself, which is from that Rustic Romance paper collection. But maybe think about stamping your um, detail parts out in a green or picking out some of the lovely pinks and cherry pinks that are in there too to, you know, make it all coordinate. I always do like to stamp in black whilst I'm live on air though because you just get a clear picture of exactly what we're trying to achieve and you can see, you know, exactly what you're getting with your stamp. So I'm just running that around there. Give it a good push down without no knocking all my cards down. A bit heavy handed. So you can see how lovely that design is. Now, if you wanted it true black, go back over and repeat the process. But because my card has got some gray in that pattern paper, I'm not gonna go back on and add anything else. So let's just take this out of here. And let's put the die around our work. Very, very simple. You can see straight away you've got that one mil border that creates that lovely outline. So when we come to run it through our machine, if you don't quite line it up, it really is not the end of the world. And I do encourage you to, regardless, tape it down if you can. I'm just popping this round here like so. And take your time with it, you know. I, I'm under a little bit of pressure. <laughs> but you're not at home, are you, when you've got it all out on your table? You're under no pressure to, unless your neighbour's at your door saying, did you make that card and you forgot? <laughs> um, 
but I'm under no, you're not under any pressure at home, so you can take your time. Again, if you haven't just tuned in, it's on uh, Open Pay and on Flexi Pay too. So if you like Open Payments, it's just one say no PMP on Open Pay today. So again, the 582 307, if you like the correlating dice with those stamps and those reads. Very busy for this, just while it's cutting through. A quarter of the overall stock's gone. We're so busy now in America too, in the USA. So guys, thanks very much wherever you're watching us from. Don't forget, we've got a dedicated US show today. Uh, 1 p.m. West Coast and 4 p.m. East Coast. So Mel will be here with Tat. Tatalace. We know how much you love Tatalace and I love Sheena as well uh, with Lauren all today late on this afternoon for you guys in America. Uh, she's very pleased about that too. Really looking forward to it. Uh, but Tony, how's that cut? It looks gorgeous. Yep, it's cut beautifully. Thank you very much. So let's just show you when I pop it out. Look how I'll just pop it face like this. So it's just a little bit easier for you. There we go. And it, they're not small. They are not small designs. They are lovely, lovely designs on there. You've got some floral elements in there as well, which could be daffodils. So you've got a lovely spring wreath should you want to create a spring wreath if you want to as well. The great thing about them is, as always, you've got your lovely colouring, haven't you? You know, your large open spaces to colour and things like that. So don't be afraid of adding a little bit of colour. So I'm going to use my Gossip Sparkle pens. These are a credible price. Yes, olive, tangerine and another colour and they're about £5. They are nearly half price. So if you didn't get these on Monday, these are still on an incredible price. So I'm just going to pop some of the green onto my um, little acrylic block here. And I'm just going to, rather than take the pen straight direct to my artwork, I'm just going to pick up, up some of that green and I'm just going to paint some of that green into this lovely wreath. But what I am trying to do and I am conscious of is we have our patterned paper here. Can we see? So I'm trying to be in keeping with our um, paper pad here. So I'm just gonna paint some of the green elements in, not all of them. I'm just gonna cherry pick which ones need a little bit of color. And then I also have a pinky one as well. I think there is a few sets that are in the sale. There are also some lovely watercolor pens, alcohol mags, so go check out that website because Create and Craft have put some incredible prices on some of the Stamps By Me products. So if you've been sitting on the fence and things have been a little bit expensive in the past, you know, now's a chance to maybe grab those bags, particularly at five pounds. They're a great present for a friend for Christmas. So let's just do that green part and then let's just get another color. I'm just going to um, clean that green off my acrylic block and we'll swap it out for um, a lovely pink colour and again I'm trying to keep in theme with the lovely pattern paper. Pick up some pink, I'm just going to pop some pink into these lovely sorts of berries because they can be anything, they don't have to be cherries, grapes, berries, they can be anything you want them to be and mine are going to be a pretty pink in keeping with my paper pad. And that's a great thing about them. You can incorporate them with any paper pad in your stash. You can incorporate them with any medium in your stash because of the large open spaces. So I would just say, get them home and have some, have some fun. Take your mind off things. Don't forget, if you haven't just joined us, yes, it's the Weath Collection. Do you know 30% is now gone? It's absorbing watching wow. that, isn't it? We love this. So again, it's on Flexi if you use Snap, but it's also on Open Pay. More payments on Open Pay on this side in this instance. So uh, 582307, 30% gone. Gorgeous. So Ooh. you're right, it's so relaxing to watch, let alone do. And with these sparkle pens, you're painting and you're thinking. Mm. That looks really, really nice, but when they're dry, they're really sparkly. So I'm not going to colour anymore because I think you get the idea. You, again, at home, have got way, way more time than me. And I'm back here in studio at three o'clock today on my own YouTube channel. So oh, bless. using the lovely products at Stamps at Creating Craft. So I'm going to be using all the products that are on Creating Craft right now in the sale at three o'clock. So, um, You'd be able to grab some bargains on there because I said the other day, I'm going to buy them back for that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> 
crazy, hey? So let's create our card before we run out of time. So I've got a large card today. Look at me, check me out. So I'm doing white on white as I like tone on tone, but you can change it out and pop some mirror card if you want to. I just like the plainness of a background. So white, matte and layer one. White, matte and layer two. Do you think maybe I'm turning into a little mini Linda Chapman, you know, like tone on tone, black and white? Why not? It's a, it's, yeah. It's a classic uh, look. Yeah. It is, yeah. I'm like, do same colour on same colour. It looks incredible. I'm like, I'm sounding like Linda Chapman more and more every day. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. So I've just popped that lovely pattern paper on there. Can we see with the wood grain? That is a card in itself, isn't it? You don't really need to do much else. So I've heat embossed the lovely happy birthday, which is on here in gold. And I'm just going to pop it onto this lovely patterned paper here. So it just enhances that lovely sentiment. And then I'm just going to pop some glue behind here onto this white piece here. Now you could pop a pad behind if you do like dimension. I'm going flat. I'm just going bottom corner here. Make sure it's straight. 666 stick, stick, stick. and then with our lovely wreath obviously I would color it all but I'm just going to highlight this beautiful flower up here can we see that there so I'm just going to pop some pads behind there very quickly I know we're running out of time so I'll just pop three behind for now and I'm just going to highlight that lovely flower that's on this paper design but obviously you could stick it in the center on a matte and layer if you wanted to make sure that's straight because that would semi stir crazy and then i'm just going to highlight this flower up in this corner and there we go so two lovely little cards Tune, that's lovely there we go that's got do you want i love do that rustic romance home, guys. And of course, you're live on your YouTube at three o'clock, Tony. So looking forward to that. Uh, uh, and when will we see you again on Crane Craft then, Tony? So I'm back on Zoom on Monday at 6.45 with another sales show. So make sure you tune in. It's incredible because Crate & Craft have been so kind to reduce the prices. Obviously, Christmas running up and things like mm. that. So I'm going to be doing lots and lots of sales shows. So you'll be able to fill your baskets with lots of bargains. I like it. Well, Tony, we've absolutely loved watching you. Thank you so much. We'll see you then. Uh, have a lovely rest, of, lovely rest of the afternoon. Well, then, if you have just joined us again, you may recognise some of these deals, some of these designs. But with this one right here, we've also got the wreaths. It's three bundles or three collections in one, essentially. So 582-307. We love the wreaths. We love these wordings, stamps and the dies. One collection there called You Are So Enough has sold out as an individual, but it's in this collection. So that's the only way you can find that at the moment. Okay, we've also got the blissful birds. Yes, we're talking about wreaths as well, actually. We're always talking about individual birds. But again, there's a lovely family spirit with these. The most gorgeous friendship kind of vibe. So thinking of you, cars, can't you to say hello? Why not? I do see Christmas in there. Cheeky little Robin, who knows? So again, uh, 582-309, it's on open pay. And don't forget, if you quit open pay when you check out, Free postage and packaging today. It's all been rebranded, so we're celebrating that. Okay, but again, these frames, these aren't my pick actually, because I just love paper piecing. This is the perfect level of intricacy for piecing and lovely silhouettes. Don't forget, as a backdrop, how about that rustic romance collection? The 12 by 12 sheets, they look gorgeous, but you've got the rustic kind of wood effect, the whitewash wood with beautiful bursts of color there too. Um, so there you go. Do have a look on the website, add it to your basket. Thanks to Tony via Zoom. Thanks for watching too. But let's remind you what's coming up next. We've got plenty coming your way at Cronkroft. Let me tell you what that is. So, yeah. So yes, my good friend Matt's coming up after the break, starting off 